Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactic Stock. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I plan on doing the same myself. All right, let's talk about an interesting case in this game. And I'm going to have a really good result here. But for a majority of this game, it's like they're ignoring me. Like the invisible ace. Like they can't even see me. I mean, they see me. I know they do, but they don't pay attention to me. You're going to find this on occasion in bottom tier games like this. We've got tier 9s. I'm in a tier 7. We've already lost a couple tanks, as have they. So they lost a 430. Kind of even. We lost a tier 9 medium and a tier 7, and they've done the same. Come up to the hill. We're on Himmel's Malinovka Dorf. And I have to be honest, I was not really excited about coming up the hill based on this setup. The M6Y is not a great tank, although he does come up here. So once I saw him committing, and we had some other guys, to include the Char Futur, which I appreciated, although he is starting to bail out, the IS-3, the STA. So it looks like we've at least brought the tanks up here that we needed to bring up here. If you look down below, we've got a 40T, a 42-01, and a Cheeto SP down by the cap. Okay, I'll give him that. The Sturve is down there. That's kind of a bummer, our Tier 9. TD is not a Yag Tiger, and if the Yag Tiger comes up the hill, that could be that could be a problem because we don't really have an answer for him. But you can see I'm kind of in the back of this, right? I'm I'm getting drug up here. I don't really want to do this, but based on where our team went, this is our best chance. So I'm going to come up here. We're going to play it by ear. I don't want to I don't want to let the Basante just punch me in the face. I do want to support the M6. He gets thumped hard. Loses 700 hit points, and I'm thinking about bailing out of this thing for just a moment. But they're not pushing the M6Y, so I'm thinking, well, maybe maybe I can give this guy a little help. I need to knock down. We're going to go ahead and switch over to regular AP. I want to knock down the edge of that building so I have better options if they come around the corner of the windmill up there. Now, they're starting to press the M6Y, and as you can see, I'm not super excited about what's going on here. But let's move up. We're losing some hit points. We do have some guys down low. Keep It looks like the Basante is kind of busy with them. So this is making me feel okay. We'll try a shot there. That misses. Not fully zoomed. And unfortunately, the M6Y is now starting to lose a lot of hit points. The plan here is if he gets wrecked, I'm going to fall back. I'll try to run all the way back down to the bottom if I can. Now I'm seeing these dudes come across here. Now the problem with highlighting yourself on this ridge line here is there's going to be good shots on guys hanging out down here, but there's also going to start being shots from the guys down below the char future where he's sitting and potentially other dudes in the tree lines down there. So if you're going to do this, unspotted, get in there, get your shot quickly, and then assess whether it's wise to come back around the corner. So we'll take our t mighty 225. We'll back out of that. I'm not going to come back immediately because he's looking at me and more than likely somebody down below is looking at me. However, it is nice that the char is sort of getting threatened by the Type 59 right there. The M6Y is still alive. The Tiger's alive. I'm alive. We've got three guys over there. Oh boy, the Yag Tiger has showed up. So this is starting to look not very good for us over here. This dude's not really looking at me. He's paying attention to the M6Y, so I'll take advantage of it. See the turrets pointed away. This guy's going to try to run in here, see if we can get a shot on him. All right, good. Not paying attention to me. M3 is looking at the Tiger. Why is he looking at the Tiger? Tiger's a pretty easy pen for him. Down goes the Yag Tiger. That's huge. That guy's tracked. I get rid of him. They kill the M6Y. That's unfortunate. All of a sudden, the two of us up here are in a bad situation because a 50 TP PR is going to have his way. Although now he's kind of worried about the dudes down below. And they just gang tackled the Yag Tiger, who sort of foolishly pushed in and got himself killed. All of a sudden, we've gone from not looking great to looking like we're in really a really good situation here. So this dude, again, is just not paying attention to me. Look at this. You know, that little 240 Alpha guy, what what can he do? He's he's not that big of a threat. I need to kill the other threats. Or, slash, go after the guys that I can easily pin. Put a shot into the side of the M3Y. He's not looking at me. 50 TP's trying to shoot the guys down below. He's worried about being flanked. He's trying to shoot the Tiger, because the Tiger's theoretically an easy pin. And now let's just cross here. Now, they are looking at me now. Sees me making the move, and I take a hit. But I'm going to trade those hit points for this better position right here. 
Now I can protect myself. Hole down is fine, but I have a big tumor. I'd rather have this big piece of rock in the way here. And now I'm going to work my options to come around the corner. We're going to pay attention to the turret of the 50 TP, and we're going to pay attention to when he shoots. So they've let me, they've let me kind of live through this. I've been busy shooting other guys. I'm not saying necessarily I should have been the focus. It's just that it was that was the opportunity that was presented to me when we came up here and started fighting. They got busy fighting other people. I took the opportunity to pop out and get my shots when I could. We're just going to sneak out. He shoots. Great. I am inside his reload. Let's go for a track. We'll zoom in there. There we go. Fantastic. We've got damage and a track. He's over angled to me. I think I can probably out reload the guy. Try another track. There we go. Fantastic. We'll disappear for a moment. Look at his turret. It's pointing at me. Nope. Turns to the other guy. We're just about reloaded. He shot. Good. Boom. Take him out. Now, in that case, he was certainly paying attention to me, but he was being shot from multiple directions. And that's a bad situation to be in. You got to hate it for the guy. He really had no good options right there. But learn to take advantage of those situations when they are presented to you. Even if they're not necessarily of your own making, right? You're just paying attention to what's going on around you and making good trades, making good positional movements. I think I killed this guy here. There we go. Kill that guy off, and then we'll move on in. This is looking really good, but it is a dangerous part of a match on this map. Coming off the hill, if they've got an organized defense, especially if you're low hit points, although we do have some guys with some pretty good hit points, they're not really in a good position to handle it, though. Their AMX is over by our cap. The Skoda is here trapped in the pit, which only leaves the CC-56 and a 3002. And now they're more or less all accounted for, <clears throat> minus the CC-56. We'll find out where he is in a minute. We're up to 2,660 damage, 412 assist, and 3 kills. I always like that if there's an ammo rack and you haven't, it hasn't been in your draw distance. Whenever it goes into your draw distance, you'll see that little symbol pop up. Kind of an interesting thing. I was looking for a shot in the T-27, but he got kilt. We'll just pop up right here, see if we can see this guy. Unfortunately, the 3002, his spotting point was above the ridge, so we get spotted. See that shot that came in? That was my indication of more or less where the CC-56 is. 3002 dies, now he's not going to spot me, so we'll come up into this little position here. I know we've got these bushes, there's another shot coming in. That could have been the CDA, but I don't think so. Based on turning over there and looking at it, he was fighting the guy over in the cap. So let's just push in and see if we can't gather up some more either hit points or assist or both. Based on the direction the shots came in, based on also the obviousness of our guys are pushing through over there on the southeast, potentially he could be in this corner. They haven't quite got all the way to the corner yet, but we'll find out pretty quickly. The Char's about to clear that spot. More than likely he's not over by our cap because this T-71 would have spotted him. Add on to that, again, the direction the shots came from, I'm pretty sure he's over here in their corner somewhere. I'm clicking way in the back. I'm actually wrong. He's a little bit closer than that. T-71's crossing. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't spotted him yet. That's starting to make me feel like maybe he's closer than I thought. I get lit. Okay, hmm, that's interesting. Oh, there he is. And we bounce one, so we'll take that. That thing has a relatively long interclip, so we'll shoot him once. I'll just come in here. I'm probably going to eat a shot. I don't care. Try to go for another. Ah, darn! Didn't reload in time. So we we added some. Uh, oh, I got rid of the HUD. We added some assist in there. We came in there with 300, added another 500 assist and another damaging shot. So 29, 21 on the damage, 810 assist, blocked a few in there as well. Three kills. Ends up being an ace tanker for the old uh, M2Y. Talked a little bit about this on Coffee Talk last week. This tank in particular. It's not a bad tank. The tumor really hurts it. The, the big problem with it is the, the T-29 exists. I think they're a little closer than they were after the T-29 got nerfed, and the 240 Alpha on a heavy kind of hurts. It's not, a, it's not a very scary tank. People don't take it very seriously. Back that up to what we were discussing at the beginning of the video when we're up on top of the hill. If they're going to ignore you and allow you to get in there and get shots, then get in there and get the shots. Time it well. Look for trades that are favorable to you. Ideally, damage to them and none to you, but 
you know, if you get two shots to one, that's good as well. That's a, a bit of a, that's a bit dangerous with a, a low alpha tank. Be careful about those kinds of things where, oh, I'll just trade. But if you're trading poorly because they have just simply have a higher alpha, that's not great either in there. And, you know, the invisible ace. Sometimes, sometimes the enemy team is just busy shooting other people. You got to take advantage of it. That's all I've got for today. Have a great one. We will see you.